Hello everyone, VJZ32 back again for unboxing to start off the week. I've already gone ahead and opened it up just by playing cards.net. It is actually from Kickstarter. That being the Planet Venus Edison. Which looks very nice. And that is it for today. See you next time with more. Hello everyone, this is a photo back again with another unboxing and this one is Ah, it's one that I shipped out to reship because it wouldn't ship to Canada and Actually, I already opened it so I already know what it is. It's actually from um, What is the name of the company? Let me see what we got in here. There's a book. There's a catalog. This a you know, Barrett Barkley Wood Supply, and we got all sorts of games and stuff like that. And then they got this, which I bought. It is a brick of decks. I don't usually get bricks, but for this one, I was going to make an exception. And there's a receipt. I'll deal with later, and. It is a brick of, and it's actually kind of a smaller brick box than usual because they are bridge sized decks, obviously, given it's a bridge supply company. Uh, yes, I've already opened them up. There's six colors blue, which is actually kind of a turquoise, red, which is almost an orangey reddish color. That, well, I guess it's kind of a standard red, but it looks a little bit different. Green, yellow, which is kind of orangey itself, gray, and purple. And you can see I got some more sealed up. That's why I don't, I didn't mind getting the brick of these because I don't mind having multiple rider backs, and these are cool. Um, special thanks to one of you, one of my subscribers, who pointed this out to me. You can get it from their website. Uh, BarrettBarclay.com or from Amazon, but be forewarned they don't ship outside the US, so you'd have to use a service like Reship.com. Uh, and I got them from Amazon, and shipping was free in the States, and then of course I had to pay shipping from Reship. But yeah, it's not bad, just standard. You can also get this one individually, but that's the only one that I've seen available individually. That is that for today, and I'll see you next time with more. Hello everyone, we just wait for you back with the more unboxings. I've already gone ahead and opened them up. Uh, first of all, I got one here from Kickstarter that I've been waiting on for some time. Here somewhere. Let's get some stuffing. And a receipt for a packing slip. And this is the Jane Austen deck from John Eric like it. it looks very nice beautiful foil and embossing on the tuck case and uh yeah stay tuned for a review this one took some time to get here there was a lot of issues and delays along the way a lot of bumps in the road but it finally got here i had faith in him and he delivered the other one is from playingcarddecks.com from their pip box club which is this new thing that you can sign up and every month he sends you out six decks guaranteed there's going to be a bicycle one and, uh, you know, other good quality decks in there. One of his own produced decks, I believe. I don't remember exactly what's in there. You can check it out. Pipboxclub.com. This was, they did it for Kickstarter. There was this anniversary deck. And then you can also get, you know, subscribe and get six decks. Um, but I just got the anniversary deck and it is... And there's actually a magnet as well, so that's cool. Hmm, oh, Bick. Shout out to Bick. Made in USA of US and foreign content. Really, how much foreign content could there possibly be in a magnet? <laughs> or any content. Anyways, here it is. It's the Royal Vortex. It is actually printed by Jemako, which we don't see very often, or Jemako, however you pronounce it. Um, it is gold foil, and it's limited, only 500 produced. 
And that's the back design, including the black part, which is kind of thick border, but it is what it is. So that's it for today. Uh, let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time with more. Don't know if there's going to be anything coming tomorrow or not. We'll see. Maybe.